everyone, Stephanie here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make your crawling exercises more efficient. Crawling exercises are prescribed in physical therapy programs and activity-based therapy programs, and they have a ton of benefits. But you're only gonna be able to uh, gain those benefits if you have well-intentioned execution of your crawling. So today I wanna to talk about a couple components that go into the crawling exercise. One of them is your starting position, you have weight shifting, what I call rooting, and then also your push off. We recommend that you work on these components, these foundations, before you complicate the exercise or challenge the exercise with speed or load. So instead of putting on a weight vest or using ankle weights, uh, working on these other components like weight shifting and rooting and push off. Uh, all the all of this these tips um, assume that you have some degree of stability in your quadruped position so if you're still working on that continue working on your quadruped quadruped position before adding in your crawling component so in your starting position you want to make sure you have a really nice hands and knees uh, supported quadruped okay so you have your wrists over your, under wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips a lot of times I'll find that my SCI athletes like to be a little bit outstretched this way, and that's because you can kind of use the structure of your bony anatomy as, as a stable um, way to hold the joint as opposed to using the actual muscles to stabilize the joint. So challenge yourself to be in a little bit more of that structured stacked position in your wrists and your knees. Before you even begin crawling, it's good to do some weight shifting drills to help the body understand where to put your center of mass, which will allow you to offload your hand or your knee enough to lift it off the floor. So understanding how far over do you need to weight shift so that you can safely lift the hand without falling to the floor when you lift it up. Um, so little drills that I like to have my athletes do are side to side, left and right weight shifting, and then also going around the world. So visiting all four quadrants. So we'll go up into the left, down into the left, over to the right, and then up into the right. And then of course you can go in all different directions or even in diagonals, which is really nice for crawling, crawling because it sort of primes that diagonal forward movement. So working on the diagonals as well as around the world. We'll talk about uh, the rooting, what I call rooting. So from here uh, in your quadruped position, you wanna think about pushing the ground away so that you really have purchase of the floor uh, when you're about to lift your hand, okay? So if I'm not supporting myself through this stance arm, when I lift up my hand, it's gonna collapse. It's gonna drop out of, out of, um, out of that strong alignment. So we wanna make sure that we're pushing the ground away and feeling that connection in our shoulder out through the hand, okay? You can do this by also widening your fingers, spreading out your fingers really, really wide and making sure that your palms are big. And then the cue I always give, again, is pushing the ground away. If you have uh, less sensation in your hips and your knees, this can be a little bit more challenging, but you can still visualize this concept of pushing your knees down into the ground. So if I were to lift up one of my legs, I'm pushing into the ground with that knee. Last but not least, uh, push off is uh, one of the more, more important things to think about when you're crawling because that's literally what propels you forward. So um, a lot of times when I have my athletes first show, uh, they first show me they're crawling, they're sort of pulling themselves over their hands and then sort of like their legs come in as a secondary thing. So um, instead of thinking about pulling yourself across the floor, we wanna think about pushing yourself across the floor. It's gonna be more efficient and then have this more full body integration and, and not to mention better carry over into your gait exercises if that's something you care about. So as you come forward, you're thinking about pushing, pushing off this knee to bring the other knee forward, okay? So then now I'm gonna push off of this knee to bring this leg forward and so on and so forth. Push off, push off. So next time you do your crawling exercises, make sure you have a great starting position, uh, do some pre-crawling weight shifting drills, make sure you're rooted and really focus on the push off while you're doing your crawling exercises. I hope this helps you guys drop some comments below, let us know how it feels in your body, and we'll see you soon.